Greetings, my dear friends, and today we're gonna talk about what we had, what we have now in architecture, and what we lost, and why we lost. Of course, we all understand that previous civilization, our civilization, before impact, was beautiful, fine, yeah, we have perfect society. It's not communist, but it's close for it. Uh, trust me. I have some proofs, I'll tell you later. Now take a look. It's, it's Budapest. It's beautiful. And this type of building was everywhere. It's free electricity. Of course, water, heating, and so on. It's a good place for living. All proportion, all standards. Well, we lived in harmony with nature. Guys, let's enjoy a couple of minutes, only a couple of minutes, views of one of the most beautiful cities in Europe, I think. It's like Praga, but a bit better. It's Budapest. But such beautiful buildings all around the world. If they survived after bombing, we can see all cities were like this and even better. In one of the next videos, I will show where was the best, the most beautiful and the biggest city. Oh, Buenos Aires. The same in all Venezuela, in Paraguay, in Peru, everywhere. Look, it's just in St. Petersburg, like in Vienna. Everywhere, the same building. You say something about conquistadors, Spanish guys, Inky. Just look like in USA, like in St. Petersburg. I don't want to waste your time show everything just for you to be inside, to be tuned on the right mode. Typical European city. And a little bit more just for you to get the basic idea, not everyone is from Europe, so I will show you and, and one more European city. But it's the same situation in South Africa, in Australia, in Malaysia, Indonesia, everywhere. The same building architecture, towers, of, look at this fractal antenna and the ship on it. It's perfect and beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And this pole this pillar for free electricity and state you only for decoration on top of it. Look, sun, our previous god, we were praying to the sun, to the light, praying, respecting, whatever. But we will not talk about religion or something today. Today we're gonna talk about what is happening with other building buildings we cannot see in the center of our cities. It's all around the world. We will talk about a little bit. I will show you some old mansions, churches, abandoned places, and then I will explain why they are abandoned. But first, a couple of mansions, a couple of churches, a couple of palaces, just for br brief review, and then we talk more about it. Look how beautiful the buildings. Passing, time passing by and it's still standing. They can stand for another thousand years without any changes. And they were even more beautiful in previous time, uh, 50 years ago, approximately 200 years ago, when illumination was better and different from different places, from free electricity. Nothing happens. Beauty is forever. This bridge is like a Budapest, like a Budapest. But guys, unfortunately not everything so good. Mansions and our memory is destroyed regularly. And I will show you some examples of how it happens, how it's demolished. The history of this site dates back to the 17th century. 
Over the decades, those buildings barely changed from the outside. These images are from the early 20th century, and today all the structures still look the same. Around 350 years ago, on this hill somewhere in Italy, a hermitage was built. In peaceful seclusion, monks were living and praying here. Most of the houses were constructed by them. In order to do this, they were assisted by a well-known architect from the region. But they still needed around 100 years to build up the whole area. And even then, not everything was finished. Actually, it was planned to construct even more buildings. The church was one of the first buildings which got finished and it was consecrated around 1670. Still today, the nave is very impressive. We are wondering how stunning this Lord's house must have been in its heyday. However, around the time of World War I, the church had already been desecrated. So for 100 years, people haven't been using this place for their prayers anymore. You could nearly think that the place of worship has been untouched since then and spared vandals. But actually, the place was looted multiple times in the past. Among others, the statue of Madonna was stolen and other sculptures had been destroyed. And if you noticed, modern building was closed by, but old mansion, old church and so on was not in use. Why? It's absolutely beautiful. They could make a lot of money using for tourists, for travel. And Attractors and the same situation everywhere. It's too difficult to destroy, to demolish, and they just leave it abandoned. Time will kill it. It's like everywhere in the world, in Slovenia, in Italy a lot, of, in France, and in Denmark, in the UK, everywhere. Just brief walking to virtual tour. Let's take it. Walls are okay, the roof is okay, everything okay. Windows are not so expensive. People could use it. They have infrastructure all and everything. We started our exploration at the church. In Italy. And here we will end it. With a well, bang. Even bells inside. Buildings completely ready for everything, for living. People don't use it. The question is why. Und durch die Schwingungen wird der Turm einstürzen. Das war knapp. Okay, ich würde sagen, die Location ist abgehakt, denn jetzt weiß ungefähr das gesamte Dorf, dass wir hier sind. Also lass uns mal, mal schnell weg hier. Tschüss. After a long day, we now leave this sad place. With its historical facade and the remarkable nave, this church is one of the many Italian monuments. And please know that still everything is still there. Nothing about it. The roof. Take a look at the wall. Italy, center of tourism. Millions of tourists come and pay money to visit different places, absolutely. But this is London. Look at fractal antenna on the top. Poles with Mercury still on there. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, today, we are going to be looking at the Gilded Age. And um, what exactly is the Gilded Age? It is, uh, well, according to Wikipedia, it's uh, a period of time in the United States history in the late 19th century uh, from roughly 1870 to 1900. And um, 
this term Gilded Age was pop popularized by uh, by Mark Twain and uh, I'll just click on this here and um, yeah so uh, so this period roughly from the 1870s to the 1900 and the term uh, was derived from Mark Twain's 1873 novel The Gilded Age a tale of today um, which basically just talks about serious social problems masked by a thin gold gilding looking at uh, photos for these um, you know these free energy fireplaces a lot of them came from these mansions and uh, okay 1898 it says that um, they purchase a plot of land and they're showing you where it is so okay things are looking good 1901 the Carnegie Mansion is designed okay okay cool here it comes here it comes here it comes oh it's already complete it's already it's completed what 1901 the garden design to 1902 it's completed <laughs> there was somebody a composer and a musician he would come to the mansion every day and exactly at 7 a.m. he began playing music uh, on on an organ so what I'm finding is a lot of these mansions they have these organs um, you know incorporated into them so let's let's move on let's close some tabs here uh, let's take a look at this John Jacob Astor mansion this is Millionaire's Row Fifth Avenue and uh, hopefully you can kind of tell what's going on here you got you got your mudflood building and um, and again um, what was also going on at this time is all of these millionaires were they were just loading up on paintings and uh, in a future video I think there's a deception going on with uh, Renaissance art paint paintings as well but for another video and again like you got the two devices and would you put a painting again like this is how you know it's not there might be some logs in there but <laughs> you're gonna like have a full-on fire with a painting right above and all around like priceless stuff supposedly yeah so this is just another example of a mud flood building and we're told this Aster built it and uh, this one gets demolished as the, the Carnegie Mansion by the way is still in existence it doesn't get demolished uh, but this one gets demolished in like 1820 oh sorry 1924 26 uh, right around <clears throat> right around 1824 25 uh, and this building's got the portholes right and what's what's really wild about this i think there was a clock in here but you got your plate back here they took the two devices out um okay so the house was it took 14 years to construct this house roughly 200 million inflated dollars uh today's cost so um 121 rooms again they love loading this stuff with collectibles right collectible paintings and um oh this this one's got these two of these devices in it okay so it they started construction in 1901 construction finished in 19 13 I think it was and it was demolished in 1927 so it stood for roughly 27 years and they they spent 200 million they spent 200 million on it roughly <laughs> um, yeah see that just doesn't sound right does it and pay attention people 
buy it. Oligarch, rich people, bankers, uh, cover story, they build it and they destroy it, demolish it. Like many buildings all over the world. Somebody is erasing our history, some erasing buildings because buildings can tell a lot. Look at this one. They say that it's Spanish, but it's in Italy. He has a different style. I don't believe cover stories, and somebody believe it according to Spanish standard or Arabian standard. I can find the same kind of building in Siberia, one I will show you later. It's absolutely ready for use. No, but nothing is destroyed. No graffiti on the walls. It's too beautiful to be spoiled. And it's abandoned. Guys who are exploring it, you will see, you will read him, hear him, them. They also didn't believe that it's abandoned. But it is. It's reality. Who and what is stopping people from using it, living in it? Just enjoy it. Argentina, Argentine mansion also abandoned. Isn't this strange? And one more, and then I will try to explain why I am showing you this. We actually managed to get into here. It's um, an old castle. Yeah. Great. There's some amazing paintings in here. Art. It's just amazing. Yeah, so you can go up the stairs here. And it's a great entry. paintings. It's a pretty iconic shot too in here. Yeah. So it's the upper floor. And in here great the really fucked up part. There's a gaping hole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this one is not very good condition, Statue. definitely, but siding's mm. perfect. Yeah. And even the furniture is still there. So we have those. Look, the bed here. Bed, yeah. And an awesome ceiling. And it's really high, I believe. <laughs> First, it was standard five sand meters, shape. Four, five meters, something like that. Easily. It was yeah. for following energy, to make energy follow it. Nothing is for decoration, nothing is by accidental, <laughs> no coincidence. Just look at this. An antenna on the roof. Definitely, for free at least. It's good for living, but somebody doesn't let people live in there. And the situation all around the world. I can't believe that you or me, somebody, wouldn't want to buy it for cheaply. 
fire point so good. Without chimney, <laughs> mostly. But it has everything inside it was in use recently, you know, not long time ago. Everything was there. Glasses, modern furniture, high stove, everything. People really was real. They were living there maybe in the 20th century. And then something happened. It's definitely pre-flow building, mud flow building. Look, stained glass or how you call it. On and the second floor, you can see there were all the bedrooms. Most of them were empty, so we're oh, not gonna show beautiful. all of them to you guys. See, I don't know what to And it's abandoned. Here you get another view of the beautiful sky window that was in this castle. Me and my brother were also fascinated by these amazing radiators. They had this beautiful design on it and we just loved it. We are now walking into one of the bedrooms of the place. In the middle of here there would be the bed. And next to the bed, every bedroom had a little sink to wash yourself, to... to brush your tea, to clean your face in the morning, and stuff like that. And then between every two bedrooms you had one of these bathrooms. The walls would be tiled with marble, and there was a double sink configuration down there, and then a bidet in the middle of it. Every French bedroom, uh, bathroom has a bidet uh, in it, a radiator, in a marble case, <laughs> cool to see, and the toilet, and a bath to take a nice bath after a day of grueling business. This you see here is a statue room and this this is where the owner would place his trophies and his prized possessions. Owners of castles are most of the time very rich and successful business people and uh, of course also political people. And they always have something to brag about to their friends and their family. So that's what they put on the statue in the middle of this room here. We also found this huge vault laying on the ground here. It was closed unfortunately, maybe there are millions inside, who knows. Incredible to see always. We are standing on the second floor now and from here you can look down into the castle, into the, the main hall of the, the great hall of the castle. There is also an attic attached to the castle that's uh, where the sky window is and where they would store their little goodies and things they had. Here you can see that I walk into the place where the windows are on the top of the building, of the castle. Here you can see here where the light would flood in here and a beautiful sunny day. Then here are some minor things on the attic of the castle. Not that interesting, but I will just show them to you. And this is in the basement actually. This is a cart that you put behind the horse that they used in the, the early days to transport things around. They had no cars, they had not, not such things like we do nowadays. Incredible to see. And then we also found this this, this wine vault, this wine uh, wine cellar. Unfortunately it was empty. Most of the times you come across wine cellars that have a lot of bottles in them, but this one didn't. Standing outside of the castle, it is an incredible big place. Look at the size of gates. And much flood, of course. This place always blow my mind. Everything ready for leaving. Just pay attention. 
Dalwarren Castle was built in 1785. It passed through many hands and the building served many purposes. It closed in the 1960s and to this day the castle still lies abandoned, overgrown and forgotten. Why everything was in use, tourists could pay all money necessary now, I'm not for expecting there to be much in here in terms of artifacts and stuff like that, but castles have this really cool look that nowhere else can really replicate. So I feel in Russia we have different situation and I don't listen to the narrator this one. I left him for you to understand what he's talking about, I will translate, but he's telling another thing. Most of people, let's call it church, okay, uh, they were abandoned purposely. They were destroyed by communists, they were destroyed by war, it's clear, but most of buildings like this, mansions, palaces, just abandoned. I spent your time purposely. I needed to explain something. It's not by accident. Somebody doesn't want us to use this building. Because if I would be their architect, for example, I would explore it centimeter by centimeter. Every centimeter of this building can teach us something and tell a lot because stones don't lie. Official history is lying, but stones don't. Look at the arches. Look at this metal stuff. It's not to make the wall strong, definitely. Maybe they do it, but they... like connectors. A bit later you will see what I mean. What for? And this is too much just for simple walls. You know, they're too thick, too huge. There are some purpose for it. It looks like they have a lot of bricks and they don't know where, what to do with them. Three meters, sometimes five meters walls. This just pay attention. And as oh, wow. mansion guys this were exploring fireplace, it. man. These marmot tiles. Look, fireplace. <laughs> and mirror on it. Strange. Also fireplace without books fire. In this building also. And now please pay attention. I will repeat, don't worry. These people were believers of God because there are a lot of Bibles here and a lot of Look crosses. Wow, this fireplace is awesome. Fireplace. I love it. They don't even Detail understand it. what they found. It's fireplace working oh, on no. atmospheric electricity. It's heating system. Look. You can understand how it works. Just open it. Explore it. That's why I'm showing everything. All this. So many minutes so much time understand we can learn a lot from these mansions that's why she is against using it and it's the same everywhere just look at this look what's going on just google it search in internet Abandoned place, abandoned mansion, abandoned church, abandoned palace, and you will see the situation everywhere, all over the world. It's not thousands, it's not dozens or something, it's millions. Of course, many of them were replaced or demolished, even more, but millions still standing. And most of them have their secrets open because stones don't lie. Official history is lying, but stones don't. We can go there and find something. Find fractal antenna, fractal resonators, antennas underground, on the roof, mercury, holes with mercury in walls, on the roofs, everywhere. Mercury is sucking at the 
Fear Attraction, Good Conductor, Conduction Material. Look at this. It's not problem of one country, it's worldwide problem. Because this situation is everywhere. I can't imagine this by itself. Somebody don't want us to live like humans, like we must live, like we're supposed to live. Look at this, it's in Russia. Sphinx. Stones everywhere. Lions, Sphinx, Arcs, huge doors, swastikas. This look like cold Siberia. Whatever. It's what what? It's a piece of art. Holes. Ah. Just point out, just pick any place. I cannot believe that nobody wants to buy it. Nobody wants to give it. And there must be a reason. have hundreds of millions of people without hopes, homeless, and nobody lives in such a beautiful places. But in Russia we have a different situation, because they were demolished by the Communist Party purposely. They were explaining like this, we are against religion, blah blah blah. It's another cover story. Every single Just one. I'm telling you, millions. And the one who, which are restored by Russian Orthodox Church, they are not what they're supposed to be. I mean, cover up stories that it was churches. And uh, people are only praying in England when nothing around and no other stone buildings around, uh, buildings made of bricks. Something doesn't fit like this. And all those buildings also have uh, free electricity. Antennas, of course, balls, balls and balls with mercury, in walls, on the roofs. Another example abandoned castles. It's the same situation. I cannot believe nobody wants to live in it. Yeah, some of them are in bad condition, but most of them have even glasses, windows. Everything. Look at how beautiful they are. Balls. I'm sure there's still some mercury. That's my point. If we explore any abandoned palace nearby, we can learn a lot. Guys, if you live close to any, please go there. You know what to search for. You know what inside. Roof very interesting, fireplaces very interesting. Please make video. Access is free most of the time. It's not Star Force. Star Force always closed. Military guys inside because huge underground tunnels. Look at this. Abandoned, but all these balls still are there. Everyone can break one of them and understand what's inside. Take a look. And how this all built, how this all works. And most of them have huge underground tunnels going to miles, 100 kilometers. But of course, Star Force, yeah, they're prohibited for exploration because NATO, Russian army, Chinese army, 
inside of them, in most of them, 95%. In some situations, people try to explore it and to disappear. Somebody's coming for them. Please be careful. But it's not Star, star Fault. It's open access. You can go and find out something. You can help humankind. All people. Look how beautiful. I also didn't find I didn't see most of them. Look. Status. In Europe. This is also. Poland. But it looks like in Arabic. Have they listen to any historians? Lights. Oh, look at this. Resonators inside of the door. Beautiful. There is some reason for it. It's not for decoration. Just wasting of material and energy. There must be reason, certain reason for using this shape, this form. In India, overpopulated India, but no believes it. And it's perfect geometry of this building. I would learn every centimeter of all of these buildings. I can learn a lot from them. In any museum, you are not allowed even to touch the walls, touch statues, but here you can do everything you want. You can drill the wall even if you want. You can use some device to find out what's inside the walls, any metal and so on. You can find out what coils, what is sometimes under the roof and so under the door and so on. Because stones don't lie. Only official history. She is lying and disturbing and perverting everything. Look at the beautiful rose windows. But now, churches, they call it churches. This looks like normal. Houses. And we can learn a lot. I, I'm not tired to repeat it again and again. Glasses, rose technologies they use, heating system still in there. Nobody cares about them. It's too difficult to take everything away. Stones don't lie, even if it's abolished, destroyed. They can tell a lot. Like those stones. Just in a second, I will tell you what I mean. Oh. Oh. These stones cannot lie. It's obvious what happened and how. From one side, heat, yeah. huge degrees, many degrees. It's melted a little bit. This stone actually don't. This stone. Don't lie, labyrinth. Survivors tried to extract some energy from Earth. This stone, it's not stone. And look, this. Take a pay attention. It's a foam. It's just columns. But wait, look at this. It's very important. Let's discuss about it. Talk about. It. It's a stone foam. It was fundament foundation marble foundation based on granite it was a building and then something happened it's it was boiled it's full i mean bubbles inside what amount of heat must be applied from above to melt it to make it boil and then it was cooled down and it's full stone full that's why I'm saying stones don't lie. And it was recently, I know, maximum 200 years ago, because if it would be longer, water erosion would destroy everything. 
it, it, it would not be fall. We could not see it. Temperature, ice, and so on, heat. Erosion would work, but now we can see the fall. It means it was not long ago. Some people say about resets and few floods, uh, three or four. No, it was the one 200 years ago. It finished 150 years ago, the main four actions. Stones don't lie. Just open your eyes, use your brain. You will understand and realize a lot. So I believe the stones. I don't believe this official brain devotion like the Soviet Union. Considering the amount of orphan trains and kids moved from one continent to another from one, to forget the roots and give new belief system, I can be your relative. Any guy from Australia can be relative from Guyana, UK or in Siberia, Siberian guy can be friend, uh, relative. If I relative, but anyway, Нашему правительству, нашей коммунистической партии, отцовскую заботу о нас, советских детях, от всей души мы говорим большое пионерское спасибо. And we were brainwashed 150 years ago, and it's still going on. Look at those guys. Kids, they really believe in communism and Lenin. You they didn't know about anything. The belief system, Marxism is right. Belief system is always right. Look at this song. 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 Now you understand. In a few seconds, actually nothing changed. The same brainwashing, perversion, and distortion. The same in China. No difference. Some something is different. Yeah, Chinese people do. They perfect slave for her. They are perfectly, they don't think they have no initiative, they cannot invent it, they just cook it in Japanese, cook it and make it a bit better. Brainwashing is everywhere, divide and conquer guys, use your mind, critical thinking, she doesn't like people with critical thinking, she owes them whatever. And watch it. I want you to understand. For some of them who doesn't know what's going on in the world in China, you will understand my point a bit later. Why I moved from mansion, abandoned mansion, to this brain washing. It's a preparation for that. You should move it. One is a beautiful, divided on the house she acts. Different, yes, of course. 
totally different. All Americans, only and unique. No brainwashing. Absolutely. Because they're different. Kenny, will you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Different clothes, different language, different people. She is using the same ways, methods of brainwashing all over the world. Think something different? Nothing is different. We're all in the same shit, guys. The same gist, the same signs, the same words. And we are killing each other using the same words, the same technology. The same zombie in USA, Russia, UK, China, whatever. Time to wake up, guys. It's time. And what is the connection between brain motion, mansion, old architecture? Many connections. Try to understand. First of all, she is brainwashing us. What for? Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. China has already begun working on what will be the largest city in human history. And they call it Jingjingji. Jingjingji would knit together three distinct geographical areas that span 82,000 square miles. It's roughly the size of New England. I can't even picture that. No, seriously, I mean, New England? How about regular England? Uh, actually, it's much bigger than the entire regular England. And its population would be greater than the largest 100 cities in America combined, plus the entire population of England. Yes, they want 130 million people to live there. <laughs> what could go wrong? Well, for one, Beijing already looks like this now with just 21 million people. And for two, that's an insanely big city. Why would the Communist Party even want to create this? What do you think why she wants to move everywhere? A lot of free land, a lot of abandoned places, a lot of places we could leave buildings for free for people. Because she sees like this. It's the only way she can see our living. And them is a part of so, moving us. They have power, money and everything. That's our future, guys. 5G Hive. It's a free land and buildings to live, but we'll live. Where we will live? Here in Hive, 5G Hive? Or here, like we used to be? What's your answer? Why would you like to live? What's your answer? 